I never thought that I would be making this video, but I am. I bought my first horse, yay! He <laughs> is a off the track thoroughbred. He apparently has been on the track since last November and we assume he just stopped winning so they didn't want him anymore. And then he went to, I think another barn, um, sort of like a off the track thoroughbred rehome facility. And then he went to another barn and now he's with me. I usually write before I go to the barn what I want to accomplish. Elfie saw the dentist on Tuesday and he got dewormed. And at the end, I do sort of a week in review. I put the good and the bad. Elfie started getting bored in his stall, so he started cribbing on his water buckets. He started getting stocked up in his stall, his legs, the fluid in his legs started getting, building up in his legs because he wasn't moving as much as he should have. Now he gets turned out and I try to walk him every single time I go. So now I'm just repeating the exercise that I've been doing every time I go out to the barn with him, which is just follow me, stop, and then back up. Sometimes he doesn't like to do the back up all that fluently, but once he gets motivated enough, he'll start doing it very well. Now I'm doing his stretches. He's gotten really good at these with or without treats. And these stretches are good to help stretch out his top line and get him used to using his neck and head in sort of a different way that he's used to. I'm standing next to the block and he's not really scared of a lot of things I'm noticing. He's very brave and when I do something, he kind of just goes along with it because I feel like he trusts me and he's happy and content with his home. So he's a lot more willing to listen. We are introducing the ground pole. I don't know what his experience is going over poles, but he seemed to be a pro at it. So I do this a few times both directions. They teach me that the shimmering is only inches deep. This is Alfie now. He has not completely shut it out, obviously. He's still super thick as you can see but he's getting there see if you go like this all this hair comes off of him so he's getting there I take him from the pasture and he is disgusting. <laughs> Buddy, where are you going? Just had a bubble bath. He's been really, really foot sore because he had his horseshoes taken off of him um, to let his feet grow. And then he's going to get them put back on. I'm going to get my beast. Woohoo! He's outside, so he should be really happy. Oh, is my boy coming to me again? Hi, buddy! Hi! Oh, he's still a little, little ouchy, but he's definitely walking a lot better than he was. Hi! He's unevenly shedding his tummy right now. As you can see, this is his summer coat. And this is his winter coat. There's my man. Oh. Hey 
everyone, so super sorry about my lack of videos as of late. I've been super focused with Alfie and his training, and I just really haven't been in the mindset to film, I guess. Um, nothing bad at all, it's all been good things. I finally started riding Alfie. Um, this will be my fourth ride with him at home. He's been a really, really good boy. So I just kind of wanted to update you guys uh, in the background of this video. He also just got kicked in the pasture recently. You'll be able to tell once he walks by here. Um, and it's sort of on his bone. So that's also, I think, why he's a little bit stiff. And my trainer said that I can start riding him on my own as long as there's someone else in the ring with me. I'll be starting to trot him on the lunge and we'll go from there. starting to gain even more of a personality now that he feels more himself. He's a little bit more stubborn. I'm going to the barn bright and early. It's 9 a.m. Uh, because yesterday <clears throat> when I went to go have my lesson on Alfie, he had two lacerations on his hind left leg um one of them is worse than the other one of them the one that's worse is an older one and it's reopened and it looks like it's starting to get infected I am planning on moving Alfie next month to a pasture board situation and right now he is doing a stall board situation with a limited turnout. It's all going in the car. All my stuff is gone. 
He just moved in earlier, well, last week, and I'm ready to show you guys. It just started snowing, of course, so um, might be a little limited to what I can show you, but so right now I am in Alfie's run-in shed, the, sort of the front part. That's the gate to go up to the barn. The barn's all the way up there. It's kind of a walk, but it's whatever. My car's all the way over there. I have my own driveway. It's got trees, grass, the water, heated water bucket is all the way down there, and he's got all these trees as well it's really really pretty but in here is my sort of uh, the tack in the feed room I was gonna go after work but I was just so exhausted um, it was a long shift so today I'm actually here to see him um, he got his rear shoes pulled and his front shoes now have snow pads for the winter so I'm just gonna check to see if he's sore at all because last time when we pulled all of his shoes he was super sore like dead lame I, oh god I didn't even see the other side of him he's a mess really every time I come in here what are you doing I think he wants his green bye bye what? This is as good as I could get him clean. I did put hoof oil on him for the first time in a while because it has been fairly dry this past week, which is actually great. But, um, and because his uh, rear feet are kind of like, oh my God, we don't have shoes on, what do we do? This is the side he did not roll on. He's very clean. This is how clean he usually is when I see him. Yeah, so from behind he's kind of at an angle as you can see but so it's kind of hard but his um the top of his tail isn't as pointy as it usually is um, which is good I'm really happy with how he is um, progressing and he's officially off of my senior feed <laughs> he thinks I'm gonna feed him or something oh he's looking for food in the poop pile because he seems pretty restless <laughs> I <start running> <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Sorry, but I can't see without this light. So I'm just going to give him a couple flakes of hay. What's really nice about this place is I can give him as much hay as I want to and whenever I want to. Oh, we did it and we are on our way up to the arena. Instagram a little bit but the other day when I tried to catch him he just kept running away from me I was gonna ride that day but I was so frustrated because I don't like riding when I'm frustrated because I feel like I just like transmit my energy into him and we don't have a good ride Buzz. Hi. Hello. I'm trying to make every encounter that we have when I first come a pleasant one so he doesn't feel compelled to run away from me when I try to get him. Good boy. Good boy. Want to have some fun today? Good boy. Oh boy. Watch any further, you might remember uh, in one of my earlier videos, I had said that Alfie has picked up this habit of bolting away from me, and here you will be able to see it. And I've been trying to figure out the issue, uh, no need for comments about it. Um, I've 
pretty much figured out that it's because of his feed and that he's being fed too much and he just has all this pent-up energy and he's basically like turned into a different horse and it's kind of really frustrating for me uh trying to adapt but i'm planning on possibly switching over to his old feed since he didn't have any of these issues on it oh my god alfie stop easy easy of our rides he's always pretty good he's calm he's straight he's relaxed in this clip this is me trying to stop him i think i start right here trying to stop him and he just will not stop easy 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 all right so this is where it starts getting bad so here he tries to bolt on me i'm trying to keep him calm and collected but he just won't stop and here he is bulging out a lot it's really hard to not have him bulge because when he gets this hyped up it's really hard to control him and um, so here I'm stopping him and he just starts backing up for no reason, spazzing out. Here he is trotting without me asking him. I'm just, during most of these clips, I just want, I'm asking him to walk. Well, Alfie and I did move back to my old barn, um, kind of the same property, but not the same facility. And the reasoning for that is not because I didn't like being at the place that he was at, but because I was given an opportunity that I couldn't afford to pass up. That Alfie, and man, am I just so happy for this horse. Let me tell you, he has the best stable manners of any horse I've ever met. He is such a sweet boy. There he goes. He's got three piles to choose from. <laughs> just moved Alfie like two weeks ago or no when did I move him I don't even know a uh, couple weeks ago well turns out I have to move him again and I've just been so stressed out about the whole thing it's made me sick that's why I'm sick right now because I've been so stressed and my immunity has been crap because of it didn't work out um, it's not working out. I think I found a new place. It's just right down the road from me. So he'd be the closest to me than he's ever been. It's like he's lost a little bit of weight in his um, stomach and his hind end and I suspect that's from the barn that I was just at because I was away for like four days and they don't feed the amount of hay that I normally feed him or that I normally want him to get fed. He kind of gets fed what every other horse gets which he needs a lot more obviously than <laughs> the average horse. Another horse bit Alfie right through it, a huge hole. I'm guessing uh, they probably grabbed onto it with their teeth and then like kind of ripped it a little bit. Um, and it got Alfie pretty good as well, hence in that area. It was a little swollen, he was a little sore, it was clearly hurting him, so I didn't want to work him today. Bath time, he's very upset with me. He knows. He knows it's bath time. <laughs> he's done. So So I got a message today saying Alfie is off in his front right 
and yesterday I noticed that as well but he had a huge sorry my pimple he had a huge rock lodged like lodged deep in his um, foot and then I took it out and he was just fine Hey guys, so today was not a very good day for Alfie. Um, basically, I had a really bad fall today. It could have been a lot worse than it was, but um, basically what happened was I was ready, getting ready for my lesson. Well, first thing that happened was while I was saddling him up, he bit me and broke skin. Re he bit me really, really hard on my back. I went to go get on him outside. And the the mounting block is, like, outside of the outdoor arena. And I went to swing my leg over. And then he just bolted out of nowhere. And I stayed on for like three seconds and he was at like a full gallop and I fell off the side of him into the electric fence. So he just kept running and I had to get up. Um, I didn't have anyone help me because no one saw it happen and until like he was running with his tack on. And thankfully he... I was more concerned about catching him because I didn't want him to like run into the road or something because we're right next to the road. And so I got up and he thankfully ran into one of the open fields and he started like racing up the fence, the fence line with another horse and he just wouldn't stop and it took me a while to catch him and then I brought him back and then my trainer got on him and she... He tried to do it with her. We kind of figured that it was a saddle issue, so I think my saddle doesn't fit him very well and is hurting him. And he lost a shoe in the whole process, and he cut his leg. One of those falls that just, like, makes you question, like, why? Like, I can't move my neck or my back. It just hurts so bad. I don't think I've ever been this body sore, like, ever. Saddle fitter came out early this morning. She said my saddle is not fixable. I cannot or I should not be using it. I have to get a new saddle and that sucks. <laughs> and before that, I have to get chiropractic work done on him and I have to put him back on an ulcer treatment. And when I went to get on him just to try the saddle on, just to sit on him, he would not stand still. He, biting me when I was when I was walking with him, when I was standing right next to him, just biting me, trying to rip my skin off, literally. So he's just not acting himself and I'm kind of really overwhelmed right now. I've had like a hundred mental breakdowns, emotional breakdowns, because I'm just really worried that I won't be able to do this anymore. A little uh, mean today, but he was good. He's excited. He loves walking in the in this arena specifically. We just got Cairo work done. Well, he did, not me, unfortunately. Yep, so he's feeling good. And the saddle fitter found many saddles for me, so I should get a, I should have a new saddle within a couple weeks. Oh no, so shiny. He is much more comfortable, oh, he's kind of following me, much more comfortable going to the right. I got to experience having him in my life and um, helping him grow and flourish into the horse that he is now.